Hello everyone and welcome back to Lorville. We're here going to tease a spaceport and uh, it has come to my attention that there have been some changes made in the um, Alpha, the Mustang Alpha, and it is time for me to test it out and see if the Mustang Alpha is up to the task of uh, of being a good starter ship. Uh, these changes are very significant. It's actually just one small change, mostly, but it's an extremely significant change. The do you remember the cargo that I showed you? The cargo uh, rack on the the Mustang Alpha that carries cargo. When you you can go buy stuff at a, a landing pad and you can transport f like four SCU to a uh, uh, another uh, place and sell it hopefully for a little more. Uh, well, they changed that and I'm told that now that cargo compartment can carry boxes and it can carry armor and it can carry weapons. So I'm going to take a look at the view. It's a beautiful day in, at Hurston today, and at least in Lorville. Uh, the weather is calm and partly cloudy with the sun in the sky. Beautiful day to take this thing out for a ride. Um, yeah. Let's see. Hangar 9. Okay. Love these little triangles in the just kind of hanging in the air at the uh at Tiza spaceport it's very much like a an artsy sort of thing that you'd see at a, at a big airport really like just geometric shapes super inoffensive you know who's gonna who's gonna object to geometric shapes it's something your lawyer would tell you to decorate with right very institutional, but a little bit cheerful. I like it. Uh, anyway, we're going to take the uh, the Mustang out. And you see I've rented the Mustang, so we have done absolutely no modifications or anything. We can't do any modifications to a rented ship. And let's see. Let's see. It says open cargo bay. Yep, pull catch to release. Oh, hey. That's a cool little cargo bay. So you can walk right into it. And walk out, you can interact with the cargo bay. That's great. We're going to test it out right now. We're going to see if it actually holds our stuff reliably. All right. So I did a little review on the Mustang Alpha a little while ago. Welcome. And... The, the big complaint that I had with it is that you can not put a box in the Mustang Alpha, or at least you couldn't. Uh, and it looks like maybe that's no longer the case. We're going to take her out for a little spin. Beautiful, beautiful. She's got powerful engines. I do, I do like the power of the Mustang. Um, with a little extra modification. We are almost out of atmosphere already. That was quick. Uh, yep, we're out of atmosphere. Cool. 
Okay. So we are going to take a look at some of the jobs that we have to do. Bounty hunter jobs. And what we're going to do, we're going to do a... Let's see. We're going to do a retrieval job. Uh, caterpillars debris. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to do a retrieval job and see if that works out for us. Okay, we're going to quantum up to Everest Harbor to get a good view of what's going on. Pick up sight. Uh, that pickup site is near nothing. Okay, maybe we won't do that job. That is going to be like 10 minutes of me just sitting and doing nothing. Uh, accepted. We're going to... A bit of that. Okay. Uh, we're going to do... Um, Let's see. We're going to do an investigation mission. Let's see. Miss Investigate Wreckage Claim. Flight Recorder. Let's see. Is that the same? That's not the same one, is it? That's the same one. Ugh. Oh, hoisted by my own petard. Gosh. Yeah, we're... We are just, we're not going all the way out there, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, service beacon, investigation, maintenance. Maintenance. Yes. Okay. Okay, where are we going? And why haven't you shown me yet? We're going to go to Barton Flats uh, Aid Shelter on Aberdeen. Or HDMS Pinewood. Honestly, going to Aberdeen is probably faster. Though it doesn't matter that much. Because we are in the Mustang and the Mustang is plenty quick. Perfect landing. All right. Yeah, as you see, with a small ship like this, it's easy to find parking. Uh, and getting in and out of the ship is really fast, too. So that's nice. Okay. I am at risk of hyperthermia because Aberdeen is super hot, even at night. I can only survive for about 12 minutes, 11 and a half, um, in this armor. That's okay, because I'm just going to be going back and forth outside. As soon as I do this, yeah, we'll be fine. Okay, so we are getting a marker for our stuff, so we're going to be able to test crates And basically, I just want to test to see if the crates do, in fact, uh, stay in there. Can they be stacked? Okay. We'll find out. Um, so it's looking good. <clears throat> Gonna grab another crate. We're gonna see if we can stack it on top of that one. Oh, 
Okay, these toxic waste disposal missions used to be way easier. They used to be like one crate on one outpost. Now you have to do multiple crates on multiple outposts. Let's see. <clears throat> All right. You can stack them. Uh, there's like a half a crate of space at the top, which is eh, a little undesirable. But uh, so they don't stack as like efficient, efficiently as they could if you're looking to get tons and tons of crates into one uh, Mustang Alpha. Maybe you picked the wrong ship. Uh, but it can carry several crates without a problem. And then we're going to put some personal gear into it. And we're going to see if that works. All right. Okay. I'm just going to drop that there. Okay. So we got the toxic waste is in here. Um, it registers as being really hot. Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna put my gun in. No, I'm gonna put vehicles. There we go. I'm gonna put my gun in the vehicle and my leg armors and my arm armors. And what the heck? Put my backpack and my core in there. I'm assuming that since it says it registers this is 229C uh, that I will die if I take off my helmet out here. Um, so we're going to close this. We're going to close the cargo bay. Ooh. Oh, that's not... That is not great. Okay, so two of the crates stayed inside. One of them popped out, the one that was stacked. So maybe we have to not do that. Man, it is so windy. It is so hot and so windy here. Okay. And right now, the the gear that's in the, the Mustang, that's all, like, just in the theory space. It's not, like, actually anywhere. It's not physicalized uh, at the moment. It kind of de-physicalizes when you, when you put it in there. Um, so there's no chance of that popping out, I don't think. Okay, we got to go somewhere else, and we got to see if, Whew. all right, temperature's coming down, that's good. We got to see if all of that stuff stays. So I think what we should do is set a course for, let's say where's, oh, okay, on the other side. Set a course for Hurston and then uh, go to Everest Harbor. And we'll just go to one of the hangars We'll see if everything's still there. All right. I'm using a new microphone, by the way. So I'm, I'm testing a bunch of them out because I don't know. I think I have a pretty good voice, but I want um, I want that to be recorded properly. So, uh, changing up hardware and seeing if that makes a uh, an improvement all right 
other side of the planet again. Comma ray will make a fine orbital marker. Let's see. So carrying boxes and carrying personal gear, to me, that is like an, a, an extremely essential function of a beginner of a starter craft. Uh, and I really can't recommend any starter craft that can't do these things. So the Mustang Alpha just might go from being one of my definitely do not recommend craft to my favorite of the cheap craft. So I do like how it flies and handles better than how the Aurora flies and handles. Um, and it's really not that different from the Aurora in terms of firepower. Uh, and in terms of I... Okay. May have gone a little overboard on the forward thrust there, but it's okay. Uh, Alright, where's my assigned landing bay? Okay, there it is. I definitely like how this ship handles. Wait, is it a... Yeah, it's, an, it's a yellow chevron in this ship. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, the consolidated outland color is yellow uh, or, or kind of amber so all of the you can see all of the, the HUD stuff is all yellow which it's kind of nice a lot of times to have a different color other than blue or red because all of the ships that appear those are all blue all of the, 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 the ships that haven't attacked you and don't have a crime stat. Those are all blue or white. Um, and uh, those are all the radar contacts. Yeah, blue is, is you know, could be friendly. White is, uh, like, don't know, usually, uh, usually it's like an installation of some kind. And then red means it has a crime stat or it is hostile. You know, maybe it has shot you. So, um, Having a HUD color that's not those, kind of ad advantageous sometimes. On the other hand, the amber can kind of really... Um, it doesn't show up well on all moons and planets. So... All right, let's see if everything's still in there. Yeah, okay. Those are all in there. And then, can I... Put my armor back on. Yeah, I can put my armor back on and I can grab my stuff. Um, and we can leave these boxes of toxic waste right here at the hangar because there's no law against that yet. <laughs> They just let you do that. Um, well, this looks like this looks like a complete success. Um, well, I, I don't know. I guess it could, they could. The uh, Mustang Alpha could have gotten higher marks than it did. It did eject one of those three boxes when we tried to put it in, uh, but when we put it in the second time, it stayed. So I highly recommend not stacking these boxes in here like we did. Um, just don't stack 
those boxes inside the Mustang and uh, and that'll be a great starter craft. This is this is a good starter craft. Um, the Mustang looks cool and flies well, handles good, and it's got four uh, spots to put guns, even though it only comes with two. So I'm going to say that after this, after this upgrade in 13, or uh, version 3.17.2, the Mustang is the better starter ship. So if you are looking to start Star Citizen, this is now the ship that I recommend over the Aurora. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the Aurora. The Aurora is a fine ship uh, and can do pretty much all the same things that the Mustang Alpha can. Um, but now the Mustang Alpha does some of them better uh, uh, and, and it can do a lot of the, the ones that it couldn't do before. And uh, it can definitely hold more boxes. Did you see how many, much room there was for boxes in there? Way more room than in the, the Aurora. So, yeah, it holds more boxes. It holds more of your personal gear. Uh, so you can carry more loot that you carry in from scavenging or from uh, mercenary missions. Solid solid starter ship now not i don't really like to dogfight with it but the but it's a fast and, and agile enough ship that you can easily easily get started dogfighting in this ship um so there we go uh if you have any questions about it please leave them in the comments and um i will see you in the verse fly safe my friends and fly if you are going to, to, to enter a star citizen uh, at the entry level at the the, the, the lowest level uh, of, of commitment which is uh, I think it's like 45 bucks or 60 if you get the standalone uh, single player game with it um, uh, and that's that's kind of like two games in one package uh, if you do that I, I recommend the Mustang Alpha now thank you Fly safe.